Hey guys, Birdman here, or like guess and Ryan, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Sony Vegas on how to sync very fast and very easily. So let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. First thing that you're going to want to do is import a clip. I have mine already here, just so I don't have to wait for the import. And then find the shot that you're going to want to sync. I'm just going to sync the very first shot for time wise. And so what I'm, you can do is you can use the arrow keys to go frame by frame to find the point where he shoots. Sometimes you can see a bullet, sometimes you'll see recoil. But for me, I don't see really either, any of those, but I get a hit marker at the end. If this is what you got to, this is okay. Just go back two frames, and you should be good. And then what you're going to want to do is press S on your video to split the clip. That way, you know, that at the very beginning of this clip right here, he's going to shoot. Alright, so next what I'm going to do is... I'm going to press U on both of these clips, and what that's going to do is it's going to let me delete the audio, that way I don't have any background noise. Also, I almost forgot, every single clip you want to do, you want to right click, go to properties, and disable resample. This will get rid of blending and make the video a lot clearer. You do not want it to be a smart sample or forced sample, you want it to be disabled and resampled. Alright, so now that we have the clip split exactly where we want it to, we're going to drag in the audio. This is just a song I'm going to use. Uh, the reason why I didn't put it in here is because we will be putting a gunshot in. Actually, no, I'll do that right now. Uh, you can get this gunshot from an editing pack. Uh, it's not too long ago. I think it took three days ago of when I posted it, so it should not be hard to find. It should be the video that plays when you get to my channel. Okay, so then when you put the audio in, what you're going to want to do is zoom in and just drag this over. That way you get the full audio, because if you don't do that, then there will be like a, just like a millisecond of no audio. Sometimes it's not noticeable, sometimes it really is noticeable. I just like to get the full audio of what I'm getting, because if you had it, like, okay. An example of what Fade Offset is, in case you guys don't know. Let's say I did this, the audio. What's going to happen is when it's going to play, it's slowly going to get quiet until there's no sound. It also does this for video, it slowly fades into black. So I just don't like that. I want the second it goes to the audio, it plays the audio. Alright, so now that we have the gunshot and everything synced, I'm just going to try and find the point of the song of the drop that way and just sync that. Uh, I may, okay. I will delete the back end of the song. You'll see why. I'll explain that later. But you guys do not have to do this for every edit. I really don't recommend doing it. I mean, I didn't even do that for OC number 11. It's just I'm doing this for time wise. You normally wouldn't do this for a uh, continuous, like, syncing edit. But unless you don't have intros or cinematics and you're just going to start off syncing, then yeah, you would do this for the first shot. Alright. So. When I'm looking for the uh, part of the song that doesn't, not, not that doesn't, I'm sorry, that does have a drop, what I'm going to do is try and like look and see like when it gets louder and play around there. Do not worry about the video either guys, you just strictly want to listen to the audio of when it drops. So let's see, it looks like the drop will be around. Alright, so I did see that it in, did drop right here, so I'm just going to kind of zoom in and go frame by frame. It looks like that was close to a minute, so I'm just going to S to split and delete the end of the song, or the back of the song. And then drag it over here, and you'll see that it does snap. So, just go ahead and hit that. Go to the end of the audio track, and drag it over. And there you go, you're already done. Just so I can show you, uh, you can highlight, press shift hold it, press B, and what they'll do is they'll do a RAM preview, that way you can watch whatever you highlighted over with no lag and audio, that way you can really tell if you synced it, okay, so let's see if we did it. So there you go guys, fast, very easy, simple way of how to do syncing, I definitely do this a lot. Um, not many people know that, so I thought I should make a tutorial on how to do that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, remember to leave comments asking for a tutorial that you want to do next, and I can see if I can do it. Make sure to like the video. That helps my channel so much. And I'll see you guys later.